Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about membership operators in python programming so guys in python in and not in these are some of the membership operators over here and they are used to test whether a value or a variable is a found in a sequence now what is a sequence it can be of any data type it can be a string or else it can be a list as well it can be a tuple it can be a set or a dictionary so guys we are going to check this with the help of examples over here now as you can see the operator so first operator is in this is one of the keywords that can be used and it belongs to a membership operator so it will be true if the value or the variable on the left hand side is found in the sequence and on the other side that is the opposite of n is not in over here and it will be true if the value or a variable on the left hand side is not found in the sequence so guys basically this membership operators can be used in order to check whether a particular value is present in a particular variable or not so let us check this with the help of examples now so let's say over here i have a very simple string that is str it is equal to programming for beginners which is the name of this youtube channel which you should definitely subscribe if you have not done so so guys let's say if i want to find this capital p whether it is present or not inside this string so over here what we will do is we will simply have the print function and inside the parenthesis we will have the single quotes and i will say capital p over here and we will use the membership operator that is in over here as you can see vs code is suggesting us this in keyword over here which is the membership operator now what we will do is on the right hand side of this in keyword we will have this sequence that is str which is the string object so what we are asking the program is to find whether this p character is it present in this str string or not so in keyword is being used so let me just save this file and try running this code now if it is present then it will return true or else it will return false over here so i am running this code over here as you can see true is being displayed that's because we have found p right at the start of the string now what if i change this character to a small p so over here i am changing this character to a small case p character over here and guys this is case sensitive so if small p is not found in the entire string then it will be false so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see false is getting displayed that's because we don't have a small p over here in this entire string but we have the uppercase p character at the start of the string so guys this is the functionality of the in operator over here now as you can see in has returned us the false result over here which means this small case character that is p it is not present inside the string what if we reverse this that means what if we use the reverse of this membership operator we will simply do not in over here that means we are checking whether this small p is it not present in the string yes it is not present and it should return us the true result so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see we are getting true over here so guys in and not in membership operators both are opposite to each other if one operator is returning true in one of the conditions so the other operator will return us the false result in the same condition now this example we have taken as far as a string is concerned as i have told you we can also use list tuple sets and dictionary as well so let us take another example with a list guys in the upcoming videos we are going to learn more about these objects for now you just need to know that what is the syntax of a list if we are defining a particular set of elements so over here let's say i want to have the list of fruits so i will just name the variable as fruits over here and then on the right hand side the way that we define the list is by using the open and close square brackets over here so as you can see this list is getting suggested over here and that is what we are going to define now inside this open and close square brackets we are going to have the list of strings having the name of the fruits so let's say we have the double quotes first and then we will say mango and then the second fruit let's say we have apple and then the third fruit let's say we have banana and then let's say we have the fourth fruit as orange over here so guys these are certain fruits that we have defined in our list and the name of the variable is fruits over here now inside this fruits list we need to check whether there is a particular fruit that is present or not so i'll just remove this part inside the print statement over here and let's say i want to find whether inside this list the banana fruit is present or not so we will simply have banana and then after that we will simply have in and then followed by we will simply put fruits that is the variable name over here so guys this is the list on the right hand side of this in operator and on the left hand side we are providing one value which needs to be found whether it is present inside the fruits variable or not so let me just save this file and try running this code now 
So as you can see, true is getting returned. That's because this banana fruit is actually present in the fruit list over here. Now let us say we provide some another fruit over here. Let's say we want to find whether pineapple is present in the fruits list or not. So we have provided a pineapple over here. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. So it is saying false. As we can see, we have not defined pineapple in our list of fruits and that is why we are getting false over here. And if we change the operator that is from in to not in over here. So let's say I provide not in and we use the same value that is pineapple. Let me just save this file and try running this code now. So it will be the opposite of false. So as you can see, true is getting displayed now. That's because pineapple is actually not present in the list of fruits that we have defined. So guys, these are some examples of the membership operators that you will be using in the upcoming video as well so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is if else statement in python programming so stay tuned